Hello and welcome to Nutanix 5 on 5, which is 5 topics about Nutanix in 5 minutes. My name is Michał and today I'll be talking about Nutanix files. So, let's get started. I will start with just a short recap what Nutanix files is and why customers are using that. Nutanix files is a software-defined, scale-out file storage that is running on Nutanix Enterprise Cloud Platform. Now, instead of storing the files on a separate physical NAS or even multiple separate physical NASes, you can have that functionality integrated into the same platform you are using for running applications. It means that, along with your VMs and containers that support your business, there's a distributed, scale-out, software-defined NAS running as well. It is leveraging the same physical platform and, just as important, the same management tools. That is possible thanks to software-defined approach of Nutanix. At the end of the day, it massively simplifies operations and customers' lives as well. The primary functionality of Nutanix files is handled by service VMs deployed on Nutanix nodes called File Server VMs or FSVMs for short. The FSVMs leverage storage on Nutanix cluster using Nutanix volumes functionality. The FSVMs form their own cluster and export a single namespace to external clients. A minimum of three FSVMs are required to set up file namespace, which can later scale out with additional FSVMs. You can deploy a single FSVM to represent a file's namespace, but this deployment cannot scale out. If you decided to enable files on your Nutanix cluster, make sure you went through this short checklist. You will need Nutanix nodes with at least 12GB of RAM and 4 vCPUs available for the FSVMs, set of front-end and back-end IP addresses, typical stuff like addresses of DNS and NTP servers, Active Directory domain that your files cluster will join, and of course credentials for that domain that will allow files cluster to join the domain, create respective objects, and update DNS entries. Enterprise class file storage requires some sort of antivirus protection and that is why Nutanix Files has added support for ICAP. It allows customers to configure inline antivirus scans with any antivirus product that supports ICAP. We have currently qualified this implementation with solutions that you can see on the screen, but please refer to portal documentation to learn about the appropriate iOS and Nutanix Files versions to use for the different antivirus solutions. I mentioned that Nutanix Files Cluster can export a single namespace. But what if you need more of them? In fact, Nutanix Cluster can support multiple files clusters and effectively multiple namespaces. That becomes useful for service providers who need distinct namespaces for their clients or customers that want to separate clusters based on Active Directory or VLAN requirements. It is also helpful for customers that currently have multiple namespaces and want to maintain the same structure when migrating over to Nutanix files. This concludes 5 on 5 on Nutanix files. Hope you enjoyed the video, stay tuned for more videos in this series and thanks for watching!